collection. I am just pulling together the last of my bits and pieces for a trip to Sydney. I'm heading to Sydney for a conference and then I'm extended my stay uh, for the weekend. I'm going to catch up with Meredith. It's going to be fabulous. And I'm going to take you along with me. Everyone, third of all, you call for Prospect Flight 2423 to Newcastle. Would all remaining passengers please make their way to gate number one? Thank you. How the mighty have fallen. Just checked into my hotel <laughs> here in Sydney. I'll put the name in the comments. Don't stay here. Um, and yeah, it's um not what I'm used to, but I'm here for two nights. I am late. I've been quickly doing some work, so I've got to do a quick turnaround to go to a networking event. So I'll give you a quick room tour. Okay, here's the door. Here is the clothesline and luggage station. There's the wardrobe, a bedside table, a bed hard up against the window, the desk and chair situation. Um, interestingly, I thought the amount of dust on the phone and everything was a bit gross, but you know, maybe nobody stayed in here for a while. Um, then we come through, we do have a television um, and a full length mirror, hi. Um, the bathroom can just squeeze through here. So toilet and that is the shower. Like it is that small, you're not seeing things. There is the vanity and yeah, I don't even know where all my toiletries are gonna live in here. Um, yeah, so let's hop in the shower. Okay, we can just do a turn, so that's all right. Oh, we've got our, lucky I bought my own, reusable things. Looks all like coloured soap. And, uh, yeah, yep. It's um, a very dodgy job, like we've got some uh, exposed conduit there. Don't know what's going on here. Interesting workmanship. And, but yeah, there's Sydney out there. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need to do a quick change. So my travel outfit, um, I just wore this black cami um, because I was working from home this morning. My Camilla jacket, jeans and golden goose snickers. I'm just going to keep the top half the same, change the pants and the shoes, do a little zhuzh on my head and then head off. Okay, so I have done my jacket up, added my pants and my collar breeze and my mini baguette and I'm off to the networking event. I think I'm going to walk at this stage. I think it might be warm, but whatever, it'll be nice. Waiting to go home. That's not poor. It's not there's a tram here. So there's the tram, and here is Circular Quay. So we're just going to walk down to the cruise bar, and um, potentially there'll be some lovely views here tonight, which will be great. Hopefully, you can hear me because it's a little echoey here right now. But yeah. Welcome to Sydney. This is what Sydney siders do. They go running at the bridge and they go walk. There's some tourists there with their Sydney guide, probably been here on a cruise or something. But yeah, it's fabulous. So it's lovely to um, be out and about. <laughs>
these are our famous Sydney ferries. And they take people home after work. Fabulous. Okay, it's time to network and to head back to the CBD. I'm gonna see if there's somewhere to stop and have some dinner. So, wish me luck. Love a little bit of networking. Um, for those of you who hate networking events, a couple of tips for you. One, um, just naturally join a group and when there's a break in the conversation, you can introduce yourself. Uh, and just say, hi, my name's Dale. I've traveled from Brisbane. And people will naturally ask questions and you've just gotta be okay with making the first move. Networking can be awkward and it can be brilliant. And I met a handful of wonderful people. Um, I've had two glasses of wine and a lot of water. And I just wanna be fresh for tomorrow because it's gonna be a really hot day. So uh, let's see what the city provides for us tonight in the way of dinner. lovely people so I'm excited for tomorrow although it's gonna be 36 degrees which is gonna be horrible but wish me luck good night good morning um, off to the summit today and it's going to be as I said yesterday like 36 degrees I am gonna travel by the light rail again today I think I've got it figured out so yeah, apparently there's lots of people giving directions at the other end. It starts at eight and it's just gone 10 past seven. So yeah, the trick is I don't wanna get there too early, but I also don't wanna be late because I need coffee and I feel like I need to get coffee there and not here before I go. So um, I'm wearing my Camilla um, garden, what is it called? A garden dress, let me show you. Uh, Garden of Good Fortune, that's what it's called. So I'm wearing that today with my gladiator heels so that I can just look a little bit put together but hopefully stay nice and cool today. Hair up, um, yeah, it's, it's. I feel like it's gonna be really hot and people are gonna be really irritated. So that is my look. What's in my bag? I've got some headphones, I've got my charger this is the one i took away with me it's so good so i've got that for extra phone i've got my remarkable talked about that a lot i've got my mini pochette with a few bits and pieces in there headache tablets i've got a spare claw clip if i need i've got my chanel card holder what else is in here i keep my headphones in this little coin pouch in here a couple of lippies tom ford lip balm Chanel lipstick, sunglasses case, oh, Estee Lauder lippy, some, it's got magnetic, magnetic um, powers because it's got all these bobby pins on it. So, and uh, mints, obviously, yummy. Okay, let's go. Hey Gary, how are you doing? It's been a long time since you've featured on a vlog. Ooh. So that was pretty 
pretty, easy to do. Highly recommend light rail if you're in Sydney to get around. And we're just walking through a little cut through to the Sydney cricket ground. Um, cricket, for those who aren't familiar, is probably one of the most boring sports you'll ever watch in your life. But Australians love it. So do the English, so do the Indians, so do the South Africans, so do the New Zealanders. Lots of Commonwealth countries really enjoy cricket. Day. I can't remember the last time I just sat and listened and learned and soaked everything in. Um, I really enjoyed it, met some fabulous people and the highlight was that Tony Gustafsson who is the coach of the Matildas football team was the final keynote and so inspirational. So the battery's going flat. I think I need a little time to um, clear my head and then I might go for a little wander around Sydney. Ah, this is more like it. Light and clean and fresh and modern and roomy. You might recall this room, Mr. Diction and I stayed here in December. Hello, am I colourful enough for you today? Lovely bathroom and a bath I will be using. Look at that big bed. This is the Fullerton. Love me some Fullerton vibes. Nice big rain shower up there. Lots of mirrors for outfits a day. Speaking of Camilla dress, Fendi mini baguette in fuchsia, golden goose because I think we're going to be walking. I totally mucked up the plans with Meredith. We're going out for dinner, not lunch. <laughs> I'm a mess. Suitcases, I walked straight down Pitt Street Mall, 600 metres to get here with my suitcases at 9am. Fabulous. Oh, it's so cool and refreshing and roomy and just delicious. I won't have a great view because I don't think... Oh, it looks a little gloomy, doesn't it? It's not, a, it's not the worst view in the world, but I'm not very high up. Unlike those chaps up the top there. Can you see them? Let's see if I can zoom in. See them hanging off there? <laughs> right, we've got a little bit of the clock tower. Sufficient. Now that I checked in, I thought I'd come down for a coffee and then I saw my neighbours with these amazing pancakes, fruit and maple syrup. So I had to get some of those too. Treat yourself. Loving the Louis Vuitton. I'm assuming this is Pont Neuf. How divine.
West on the go. That's pretty cool. And here we have another beautiful capucine. We've got the PM size soft trunks in the Go 14 and reverse monogram the Alma backpack. And these Go 14s or 14s. I like those little studs, they're a nice option. Um, wow, look at these. So now we are looking at a preview of the spring summer collection with some tasty treats. Some beautiful pieces in this collection. I love the soft Daphne bag. I mean, here it is here, look at it. It's gorgeous. That jacket, that whole look. These dresses, very beautiful. That's the camera bag and that's the Alma backpack. This was a very chic look. The shoes are amazing. but they would just be so uncomfortable, I'm sure. <laughs> and this is another new piece for the season that launched today. This pink men's style oversized shirt with the big cuffs. Looks great belted with a skirt underneath. This dress is just timeless. Absolutely timeless with the bias cut. Everyone needs a little black dress. And the jewels, they're fashion jewellery. Here's the soft Dauphine again, but paired with jeans. And this gorgeous sweater that has a big brooch. And here's a new capucine, fully beaded. This is the vanity pouch in reverse monogram and monogram. Here's that jacket close up with the bejazzling. Ah, it's just gorgeous. Louis Vuitton ready to wear is not made for me. And this huge oversized monogram soft Dauphine. Look at it, squishy. That would look great when it's um, been patinaed a little bit. Let's take a close up look at this new bag. It's cute, it goes crossbody and it actually looks pretty cute crossbody on the model anyway. Probably not on me. And here is another PM soft trunk. I do love the trunks with the reverse monogram. And this is that Alma backpack, which also looked cute on the model. Look at the squishiness of this leather on the Daphne. This is a vibe. I love that worn in look. These are the knot boots. They looked super chic on the model. I'd like to try them. I'm not sure that they would work on a thicker calf, but this bag keeps haunting me. This is the one I saw in Brisbane and the beautiful crocodile and then a quick little sneaky peek at these beauties before we leave. Hello! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Together we are Rainbow Bobbit. <laughs> We're just going to go and get a little bit of lunchy poos um, and I need to use my nav so I can't use my phone to vlog. Um, but we just saw a preview of the spring summer. I don't know, whatever launch. I think today. it was. Yeah. Um, very fabulous. I'll insert footage and talk you through what I remember. Mm. I learned yesterday that we only remember what we remember, not facts. Okay? Yes. <laughs> oh, the vibes. The luxury. The champagne. The Meredith. <laughs> Fabulous. Starting with two oysters, one from New South Wales. Doesn't look as pretty as the one from Boomer Bay. Neither of them look pretty really. Thank 
change of pace now we're in Fendi these shoes are revolting but these are super cute how beautiful are they my feet won't fit in them though for some reason they just don't suit my feet but these ones do the colibris woohoo just popped into Hermes what are these like is this Yellowstone or something? Hermes Yellowstone collab? I don't understand. This is pretty cool. Whatever this is. So I just happened to be uh, here in Hermes. Um, I did not choose to come here. I simply encouraged someone else to come here. Let's just say a purchase has been made. Children's section at Hermes, and this is where they keep the ashtrays. So interesting. <laughs> Turns out, amazing things happen when we're together. Magic. <laughs> so um, we're tired now. <laughs> we're going to have a little snooze and uh, recover, and then. Um, Go out for dinner. just arrived at our place we had to walk all of uh, several meters anyway we're here so we'll take you to dinner with us Yum. <laughs> first course I'm having shellfish ravioli and a dirty martini and Miss Meredith has got the caviar service <laughs> dinner is served we have a wagyu how delicious some fries. It's a meat kind of day. Heirloom tomatoes and nectarine salad. I'm Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> 